Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This one, as you can tell by the title, is another get ready with me. Um, this is more of an everyday kind of light look. Um, I know at this time, you know, we're all inside and um, don't really have many places to go or things to do, but why not, you know, boost yourself up a little bit, um, do a little glam. Even if you're coming down to the kitchen, you could do this for the grocery store, for work, um, an everyday look. So uh, let's get started. Um, I have already applied my moisturizer um, and primed and everything. So but I like to use this moisturizer here. This is by Armani. This used to be a balm. It is now a cream. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. I've dug in there quite a bit. So that's kind of what it looks like. And um, I have very dry skin. Um, it used to be combination, more on the dry end. Now it's just more dry. Um, you can probably tell that I have a lot of redness going on. Um, I do break out quite a bit as well. So that being said, I do need to make sure the products that I'm using are always um, hydrating. So today I'll be using um, Armani's Luminous Silk as well, uh, the foundation. This is very hydrating I find. I do have um, Estee Lauder as well. That one I find is a bit more drying for my skin it's a beautiful foundation um for my skin it's good more in the summer um or if we're going on vacation somewhere where it's more humid but that's a different video <laughs> we'll go over foundations in a different video so like i said i'm going to start using the giorgio armani um i go between shades i am sometimes um 6.25 and then sometimes 6.5 so this one's 6.5 um yeah, in the winter I'll be like a six, six point two five. They're very, they're a lot more lighter. But recently I've been, I've been going a bit more for uh, darker side, the warmer side. So anyways, I'm gonna apply this on my brush here. I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. The coverage, it, it just for me it feels like my skin. The coverage is so nice. Um, it's very light and it's buildable and it's hydrating so it's good for for my skin i've found so what i like to do is i like to use like the tap and then buff just like kind of stipple it all in and then i buff okay and now i'm gonna use a little pump a little pump for my forehead it's almost done, so it's like the pumps are. Sometimes I'll go over my eyes, sometimes I won't. Today, I think I will, probably will, <laughs> but I usually wait till the last little bit. Okay, so now I'm just kind of gonna go over my eyes a little bit. I don't really use an eyeshadow. Um, on a daily basis, only when going out, um, for gathering or dinner or something. So my skin has soaked that right up. You can see the reduced redness. My favorite, one of my favorite, um, concealers is the Born This Way. And this one, I am a shade Natural Beige. Um, I love this. This is creamy. It's thick. It's good coverage. You don't need a lot, and like I said, just like the foundation, it's very buildable. This one, as you can see, I'm applying very little. This one and um, the Chanel concealer, those are my these two are my favorite. I am just going to use, oops, <laughs> just going to use a flat brush here and pat that in. I don't apply too much. I still want to feel like myself. So you just kind of pat and then kind of brush. Pat. And like sweep. Look at that coverage. So how have you guys been doing? How's it going? How are you all sustaining in this um, quarantine that's going on? State of emergency. Um, yeah, how are you guys? How's life at home do you guys find it do you guys are you guys enjoying your time at home with um 
family, if you're with family or do, you know, are you getting tired of it, you wanna run out, go do things. It's hard now, I find, because the days are getting better. So you wanna go, like, be able to go out. I'm from the West Coast, so I love, like, the water. So I wanna go to the beach, I wanna go for a walk down by the lake, I wanna do things like that. I wanna go hiking, um, for, like a bike ride or something, and, you know, it's, going to get hard I think as um, it gets into summer but to be very honest with you I'm a homebody so I'm I'm loving my time at home um, I, I find things to do I cook a lot um, I like to bake and um, organizing and just kind of doing a whole bunch of home stuff so I'm enjoying my time to be very honest but I know there's lots of people out there who are not homebodies who are complete opposites of myself and um, I'm sure you guys are waiting for this to be over so you can go out and about and um, obviously there's families out there as well that are separated at the time or divided by this because they were traveling or um, you know you just can't see each other because of social distancing and everything so just want to let you guys all know that it's okay we're all together in this and hopefully you know it'll be over soon um, but try to take the positives from this you know as much as you can because if you're at home with family take advantage of that like get to know each other more um, you know spend more time together have like family game nights um, have like dinner nights have sports night or uh, you know go for a walk something so yeah this is the face after concealer and foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with some liquid liner. I like to use Stila. I love this eyeliner. I've been using it ever since, um, I think when I got married. It's been like three and a half years, a little bit four years in July. So I've been using it ever since and I, I absolutely love it. So let's just go right in. I'm not gonna make it too thick. So you just kind of want to wing like that. It just makes your eyes look a lot more awake, a lot more, um, you know, bigger. I like big eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish this side. All right, so as you can see, I'm done with both the eyes. They are not even, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go in with um, some powder. So this is the Anastasia. This is in banana. And I just used the tiniest amount right underneath the eyes and around the mouth because I do smile a lot and I've noticed that I get um, little creases there, so. Yeah, I don't get them as much with this foundation, but if I use like a thicker foundation, I definitely do. But um, I'm just used to kind of going around the areas now, so I'm just gonna apply that there. Like I said, I'm not like baking, baking, so you can tell I'm using, you know, just the slightest amount. Now, you don't have to use this step if you don't want to, it's all personal preference. Um, I just find that it sets the makeup really well under the eyes um, and also it really brightens brightens your face up <laughs> so just around those areas I know it looks hilarious right now but don't we all when we're doing our makeup <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there for like 30 seconds to a minute Okay, good idea to wear white before doing makeup. Okay, um, the liner underneath, like inside my waterline here, it's the Tarte. Let's do that. A little dark uh, waterline. I have tried like nude. Um, yeah, I have tried nudes. Um, and they look good in the waterline as well, but I feel like for me Personally, I prefer black. Um, the nude I prefer when There's like an event and I'm like getting really like glammed up and then sometimes that Nice like nude kind of waterline looks really nice. All right, so let's brush this off. Just gonna use the same brush 
and then I'll use a big puffy brush after. Now everyone's favorite time, my favorite time, is contouring. So I have the Too Faced uh, contour palette here. This is the dark chocolate. Mmm, it smells like chocolate. If you know me, you know I love chocolate. And I left my contour brush upstairs and I'm too lazy. So we're just gonna use this and we're just gonna make use. We're gonna DIY this. <laughs> there we go. I love a good contour. Um, it just gives such great structure to the face, like a, like a really nice frame. So one thing that I learned while doing my own makeup was a lot of people do that and then they do the contour right like in that section line. You're actually supposed to do a little bit above, closer to the cheekbone, so around here because that way it's giving you that lifted look. Otherwise you're gonna get bronzer all down here and then it just makes you look kind of messy. It doesn't, it's not nice and clean. And it's not kind of doing what it's supposed to do, which is kind of uplift your cheeks, give it that little bit of dimension. I don't use a liquid contour. Contour. Um, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't know how to. Like the blending, like there's a lot of work that goes into it and I feel like I would just create a mess on my face. So I would definitely like to try it, but am I someone who's good at it? Um, no. Would it take a lot of practice? Yes. <laughs> so for blush, um, I'm just gonna use the NYX here. This is in summer. This is very pigmented, so I just take like that much, you can't even see it. And then I tap it off and smile. And then I just kind of brush it on and smile. And there we go. It looks pretty good. Um, mascara and highlighter are left, so we'll do highlight first. I have the Becca here. This one is everyone's favorite. So I personally like to mix them up a little bit. I like to do Becca and the Smashbox um, highlighter as well. So I'll show you guys. Um, Box uh, Shape Matters palette here, and it's this, this palette is like one of my older palettes. This is the one I use a lot, so you're gonna see um, I've hit the bottom of all of them in the highlighter. So that's the highlighter. Um, it's called Glow. No, is it? Yeah, it's called Glow. And oh my gosh, it's so you you just need a little bit and like your highlight if it wasn't already popping it's gonna be popping where am i going where am i going like nowhere beautiful there you go uh mascara is my favorite tart it's the lights camera lashes i'm going with falsies if you like um i I don't use false lashes unless it's an event or something, um, but not on an everyday. Cause lashes are like, for me, like I like heavy lashes, like big lashes, but like I said, for events. Um, not for an everyday look. All right guys, so I'm just finished up with my mascara um, and my highlight. Now, last thing is the lip, my Too Faced. Um, this one is in the color Sellout. This is one of my favorites at the moment. Um, it's like the perfect color for me. And yeah, I'm just gonna go right in. I'm not gonna do a lip line or anything. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with this. I love this color. Personally, I'm more of a matte type of girl. I like matte lips. Um, I don't, I'm not into the whole gloss, unless it's just a, like a lip balm or a gloss that I'm wearing. 
So I love the, this one and um, Smashbox, I believe. They have really good, uh, good lipsticks and Anastasia. And that is it, guys. We are all done. Um, I left my mist upstairs, of course I did. So, um, but just give yourself a little bit of a mist. I like to use the Urban Decay. Um, the Morphe is really good too, but I always have loved um, the original Urban Decay All Nighter. And yeah, that's it. So this is my look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this video. And if there's anything else that you guys would like to see, maybe a different type of look, um, do comment below, do let me know. And um, yeah, we'll make it happen. I got lots of time on my hands right now. So whatever you guys wanna see. Um, I do have a whole bunch of Sephora stuff coming in soon as well and um so i did order a bunch of stuff more so skincare but also some makeup stuff so if you guys would like to see that do let me know as well um and yeah that's it that's my look for today hope you guys enjoyed the video and like i said do give it a thumbs up do subscribe yeah i hope you guys are all you know being super safe uh being smart staying home um and just take care of yourself okay <laughs>